Let's go to 1 Samuel 15 and 23. To the left is the King James Version. To the right is the Expanded Bible. For rebellion is as the sin of witchcraft, and stubbornness is as iniquity and idolatry. Because thou hast rejected the word of the Lord, he hath also rejected thee from being king. So, I want to bring out one aspect to this verse. So what is this saying? When you are purposely sinning, purposely premeditating on doing the wrong things, not following the rules and regulations of God, when you are purposely sinning, it is as the same thing, it is the same thing as witchcraft. So whether you are serving Satan or not, when you are disobedient to God, it is considered witchcraft. So even if you are not doing those hocus pocus spells, even if you are not like Harry Potter riding around on broomsticks and stuff like that, when you premeditate and purposely sin, it is witchcraft. Imagine that. So, give me a second, please. So when you willingly disobey God, no wonder more demons come to you. Does that make any sense? So when you are turning down God, you are inviting more demonic spirits. Does that make any sense? Well, Kevin, you know, I am not asking for demons to come to me. Yes, you are. You are asking demons to come by your actions. If you didn't want demons to come, you would change your life. For instance, if there is a particular farm animal that I want to house, I have to make sure that I bring particular food. I have to make sure that the materials that I need is there. If I did not have the particular materials or the food for that particular farm animal, then a person can say, hey, you really don't want this animal to be around you because you are not set up to house that animal. Does that make any sense? So, when you disobey God, what are you doing? You are setting up the atmosphere to be charged with demonic spirits. You are setting up the atmosphere, how? By cursing all the time by drinking, by doing drugs, by lying, by stealing, by doing every other thing that God don't want you to do. So, <coughs> oh man, <coughs> jeez. So what you are doing, <laughs> man, so what you are doing, you are charging the atmosphere making the atmosphere right for demonic influence. Because if you did not want demons in your atmosphere, what would you do? You would be obeying God's laws. But you are not. You are doing your own thing, setting up your atmosphere for demons to linger around you. So whose fault is it? It is not God's fault, it's your fault. So do the right thing. God bless.